I have a copy of Lumen On Here right here in front of me today. Skylum, the creators of Lumen On Here, have sent me this beta version, and this contains some of the new AI editing tools that we featured in previous videos. I'm going to be using them in this short video so that you can see how they perform up close. Let's start with this image here and go into the edit section. And I want to show you the Relight AI tool. This is the tool that I've been really excited about when Skylum have been previewing these tools to us. And this is because it uses a depth mapping technology, which allows you to control light and tone um, near and far in your image. Now, if you're not following me on that, then I'm actually going to show you exactly how this works. You've got three sliders in the first part of this tool, and in the other part, you've got another three. Now, we're going to check those out in a minute, but first off, let's take a look at these three sliders here. Now, brightness near actually does what it says. It brightens up the near section of your image. So as we raise the brightness here, you'll see this is applied to the closer areas of your photo, which would be, in this case, the subject. Now, if you think that some of this has potentially gone to the background as well, you have this really awesome depth slider, which controls the depth of the light and enables you to bring it closer or further away. So we've decided that we want the brightness near to be up to this setting here. Now I can go, if I bring the depth down, you can see how this starts wrapping around the subject and then actually affecting less of the background. Let's just see that again. You can see how it just wraps around the subject here and then just lightens up her right there. Now the brightness far slider actually controls the brightness in the background of the photo. So if I want to, I could push this up and get more of an even exposure in the photograph. But for the sake of this photo, and for probably many portrait photos, you want to really highlight the subject. And to do that, it would be better to bring the brightness down. And this way, you actually create a darker background, really separating your subject here, which you've brightened up in the near area. Let's have a look at the before. This is what it looked like to start with. And this is what it looks like now. I think this is going to be a brilliant tool, which lots of portrait photographers, wedding photographers, and as you're just about to see in a moment, landscape photographers will be using. But let's check out these, the advanced settings here. You can actually use the warmth near slider, and that's going to bring warmth or more of a golden look to the portrait right there. And then you can use the warmth far to actually apply it to the background as well. Once again, this is the before and after. Now, I actually like it with the subject just warmed up a little bit, so I'm going to bring that down. And of course, if you want to, you can go for the opposite effect, bring that down and then get a cooler look while actually really raising up the warmth in your portrait right here. I think this is a brilliant tool, guys. But let's not just focus on the portrait here. Let's actually move on to another photo, which I think is going to be really good for this kind of genre of photographer, which is landscape photographers. So if I highlight this photo here, press edit, then this is going to load in to the Relight AI tool. In this video, I'm not focusing too much on the overall look of Luminar Neo, because remember, this is a demo or a beta version. So we only have some of the tools to actually use in this demonstration. But I'm really excited about what's coming in the full version, which will be out in about two months or maybe a little bit less. Now, remember, you can get a really big discount on that by choosing the link in the description. That is a Black Friday link, which I think will remain active for the next week or 14 days. I'm not too sure about that. And you can get up to 45% off if you're interested in getting yourself a discounted copy of Luminar Neo. Okay, let's look at this picture. Now, right here, I've got this beautiful landscape photo in front of me. And let's go through the process like we did with the portrait. Brightness near. So let's really push this right up so you can see what area this affects. You can see that I'm actually affecting this area of the photo. But if I want to actually take the depth backwards and bring the light further towards the sun, remember, I can use the depth slider and just slide that down that way to bring it close to me or up that way to take it closer towards the sun. It's just really cool. I've never had this kind of control before. And this is going to be something I'm going to be using a lot in the future. So I just want to highlight this area here. I want to keep these waves dark and just brighten up this foreground in this landscape photo. 
Now I want to add a bit of warmth into that so you can really get the feeling of that golden sun lighting up the sand here in the foreground and that looks just beautiful. Now this is the before and this is the after. Of course, if you wanted to edit this in a different way, you have these controls available. Now, I didn't actually mention the dehalo earlier. This is something you can use on portraits to really kind of refine that selection or that halo that you might get around the subject's hair. So that is also a really cool feature, which is in this Relight AI tool. Okay, moving on to two of the other tools in this feature today. Let's have a look at the first remove power lines. This is something which is gonna save photographers a lot of time. If you wanted to remove some of these power lines in the image here, say these main ones, we can use this tool to save a lot of time in which you'd usually have to use some really complex selections perhaps to actually get rid of these power lines. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the AI tool here, remove power lines, and let's see what kind of job it actually does. Wow, <laughs> that has actually got rid of all of the power lines here in the middle of this section of the image. I'm actually kind of blown away because what I wanted to do was use a difficult image to see how far we could take this and it's got rid of all of them and it's kept all of the areas here looking pretty good. Wow, I'm blown away by that, guys. Now, you can actually move into kind of using a brush if you want to. If the selection wasn't perfect, then you could kind of use a brush and paint over areas here and then remove them if you wanted to as well. Now, let's finally take a look at this last tool, which is Dust AI. This is something which is going to be really useful for landscape photographers and photographers shooting outdoors, which have got difficult weather conditions that they're experiencing. Now, this is going to get rid of dust and artifacts, which will come on your lens and on your sensor and ruin a potentially beautiful photo like this. So let's jump into the Erase tab and straight down here we have Remove Dust Spots. I'm going to go ahead and click this and it's going to remove these dust spots, or at least I think it is, in the image. Let's take a look. Straight away, we've got rid of the dust spots in this image and a potentially ruined photo is now a beautiful photo. This is going to be a great feature for taking care of issues in your photos with dust and artifacts, which you may get. I hope you've enjoyed this video and this quick and brief demonstration on this beta version and some of the tools on Luminar Neo. Now, remember, guys, if you want to go ahead and get that deal, then jump into the description where you get a 45% off Black Friday sale, which is available for about 7 to 14 days. It's going to save you a lot of money. and yeah, if you're as excited as I am about this product, then you're going to want to jump in there and grab a copy. I'm really glad that you're able to join me for this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to know more about Luminar Neo and AI in future. And hit that like button as well if you enjoyed the video. Guys, thanks for joining me. And whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's a good one. And I'll see you in the next video.